rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic systemic inflammatory disorder with progressive erosion of the bone and cartilage causing significant joint destruction and deformity. It affects women more often than men and has a typical onset at age 30 to 50 years. Patients typically present with pain, swelling of the joint, morning stiffness which improves with activity lasting typically more than an hour, and systemic features like fatigue, fever, and anemia. It involves proximal interphalangeal and metacarpal phalangeal joints, sparing the distal interphalangeal joints. Metatarsophalangeal joints are also involved. It can involve large joints like knees and elbows later in the course of the disease. On examination, affected joints are tender to touch, are swollen with limited range of motion. Tenosynovitis of the palms can result in a trigger finger due to taut aponeurosis. There can be a reduction in grip strength and can be a sensitive sign of early disease. Rheumatoid nodules, which are firm and non-tender subcutaneous nodules, usually close to pressure points, are commonly seen on elbows. Of the spinal column, rheumatoid arthritis affects the cervical spine most often and in case manipulated like during endotracheal intubation can lead to spinal cord compression and sequelae. Increased levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines and lack of physical activity may contribute to local or generalized bone loss resulting in osteopenia or in some cases osteoporosis and bone fractures. The risk increases if other risk factors like a low body weight, female sex, smoking history, postmenopausal women or alcohol abuse are present. The degree of bone loss generally correlates with disease activity and adequate physical activity and optimization of calcium and vitamin D intake with minimization of glucocorticoid doses should be implemented to prevent or reduce the bone loss. Bisphosphonate therapy may also be beneficial in severe cases. Diagnosis is made with lab examination like a positive anti-citrullinated C-peptide antibodies, which is the diagnostic test. There can also be an elevated IgM levels of rheumatoid factor, the inflammatory markers, which is a C-reactive protein, and the erythrocyte sedimentation rate correlate with disease activity and needs to be performed as well. X-rays show soft tissue swelling, joint space narrowing, bony erosions, and osteopenia. Treatment goals in rheumatoid arthritis are to induce and maintain early remission, control the inflammation of the joint, synovium, and prevent progression of joint damage. All patients diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis should be started on disease-modifying or anti-rheumatic drugs as soon as possible as joint damage begins early in its course. NSAIDs and selective COX-2 inhibitors like salicoxib provide only symptomatic relief but do not reduce the disease progression or alter the disease. Disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs include non-biologic agents which target inflammatory pathways like methotrexate, hydroxychloroquine, leflunamide, azathioprine, sulfasalazine, and biologic agents which are produced by recombinant DNA technology which target cytokines and cell surface proteins like infliximab, adalimumab, tocilizumab, rituximab, etanercept, so on and so forth. Tumor necrosis factor alpha inhibitors are associated with significant adverse effects including neutropenia and infections with reactivation of latent tuberculosis or other opportunistic infections can be a possibility because of an underlying neutropenia in patients treated with tumor necrosis factor alpha inhibitors. 
There can also be exacerbations of heart failure, demyelinating illnesses, and an increased risk of malignancy with the use of tumor necrosis factor alpha inhibitors. Disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs and their adverse effect profile. Methotrexate is the preferred initial disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drug in patients with moderate to severe active rheumatoid arthritis due to its efficacy and long-term safety profile. Methotrexate is a DMARD which works by inhibiting dihydrofolate reductase enzyme. Patients should be tested for hepatitis B and C and tuberculosis before starting therapy as immunosuppression with DMARDS can activate the underlying disease causing lethal complications like multi-organ failure and death. Methotrexate should not be used in patients who are pregnant or who are planning to become pregnant in the near future and those with severe renal insufficiency or liver disease or excessive alcohol intake. Patients who did not respond after six months may require biologic DMRDs such as tumor necrosis factor alpha inhibitors like etanercept or infliximab as a step-up therapy. Hematologic toxicity with macrocytic red blood cells may occur with its usage and one of the more serious abnormalities is the development of pancytopenia with the use of methotrexate. In an attempt to prevent these complications, the American College of Rheumatology recommends routine peripheral blood counts every three months. Other side effects of methotrexate include nausea, stomatitis, rash, hepatotoxicity, interstitial lung disease, alopecia, and fever. Methotrexate acts by interfering with the cellular utilization of folic acid and folate depletion is considered to be the cause of most of these complaints. Some of these reactions can be alleviated or prevented by the addition of supplemental folic acid without changing the efficacy of methotrexate. Azathioprine is an immunosuppressive agent that has been used to treat rheumatoid arthritis. However, it's not really as efficacious as the other DMERDs and is associated with significant hematologic and gastrointestinal toxicity. Felty syndrome. The triad of inflammatory arthritis, splenomegaly, and neutropenia is characteristic of Felty syndrome. Felty syndrome is most common in patients with long-standing rheumatoid arthritis and is seen more commonly in women in their fourth or fifth decades. Patients with Felty syndrome typically have severe seropositive rheumatoid arthritis with an increased risk for extra-articular manifestations like skin ulcers or vasculitis, etc. The neutropenia of Felty syndrome increases the risk of recurring bacterial infections. The pathophysiology is usually unknown, but there is an association with HLA-DR4 and in patients with a family history of rheumatoid arthritis for Felty syndrome. Diagnosis is usually clinical, but hematologic studies like peripheral blood smear or bone marrow biopsy are frequently performed to exclude other causes of neutropenia. Felty syndrome usually improves with treatment of the underlying rheumatoid arthritis with disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs like methotrexate.